every new edition, there are global changes throughout the entire document. And one such change is with shock, which is now electric shock. Because what happens is the word shock, it's got a lot of different meanings. Are you surprised? Is it a shock wave? What is it? So this is to differentiate between all the variations of shock and the electric shock. So now we use the term electric in front of shock, electric shock, but there are some exceptions, two exceptions actually. There is what is known as a hearing protection boundary and a lung protection boundary. Both of these terms use the word shock. In these cases, they're referring to shock wave, not electric shock. So now places where you see shock risk assessment, it now says electric shock risk assessment. Anywhere you see shock, you see it preceded with the word electric, except for the two exceptions. An electric shock appears 63 times in the 2024 edition. So this was quite a, a, a sweeping change within NFPA 70E. Now there was another change, and this has to do with an ASTM standard. There's a newer ASTM standard that came out in 2021 that is for protectors. And protectors, what this is all about, it used to be referred to as leather protectors, but because of this new standard within NFPA 70E, the word leather has disappeared, and they are just simply referred to as protectors. Another change, each article within NFPA 70E is required to have a scope. Believe it or not, not all of them did have a scope, and the scope will always be dot one of each article. So scopes were added to these articles here. There were scopes already for these articles right here. So now each article is going to have a scope. <laughs>